Hello YouTubers, welcome to very first part of what I truly believe will be one of the best series I have ever made on this channel. So we are building something super cool, a complete bow and arrow controller in Godot. And it's not just the basics, I am talking about full character animations, proper scripting, naming conventions, camera systems, state machine, bug fixing and a lot more. Well, this is a full development journey. Now why this series even matter? Well, this isn't just about making a bow and arrow mechanic. It's about learning the real development process. You will see how to set up assets, write some clean code, test the things out, hit bugs and solve them with some polished features just like a real project. And if you're serious about game dev or just want to see how to take an idea from scratch and make it into a fully working system, yes, you are at the right place. Now there's a quick note from me. So originally I was going to make the series into a Udemy paid course but instead I decided to release it here that's completely free for this community. All I ask in return is a super simple drop a like, leave a comment and hit that big red subscribe button. It helps me a lot and if you want to support me further you can just chip a $1 on the itch.io page to get the potato membership that can help me a lot. So now what can you expect from this series? So how this series will be going on? Well, it's a full length videos each about 40 to 60 minutes. Every part is structured so that you never get lost. Now each of these videos will contain some of these sections. So first will be the overview, then some prerequisite sections that will help us to better understand the part. So what the part will be going to cover, then we will have some recap that's a quick summary so what we did in our previous part just to keep things going on then we'll have our main session in which we'll go for the actual development and step by step building process after the main section we will have some helper images so that the images will contain the script files that we write on a particular session finally we will wrap up the part in which we will again discuss what all progress we made in detail. Now let's see what each of the part will contain. So the first part is Blender Asset Setups. In this we will try to download characters plus Mixamo animations. Then we will set up our root motion in Blender. Then we will try to rig and animate our bow. Finally exporting all the assets. So in the second part it will be about Godot player scene and animation tree. So in that we will try to build our player scene by creating an animation tree graph and we'll also try to understand the node flow and state machine setup. Then in the part 3, we have our actual state machine and camera basics. So in this, we'll try to install the required plugins, then set up our state machine, writing scripts for our inactive states, and we'll try to make a smooth idle to walk and run behavior, then some basic setups with phantom host. So for the fourth part, it will be about active states and aim, and also try to dodge. So in this part, we'll try to write transitions between states, script our active and aim state. We'll also try to move our player in four directions with proper blending, adding some dodge mechanisms and finally fixing bugs. The part 5 will contain our fall state and advanced camera in which we'll have our fall behavior for both equipped and unequipped bow. We'll also fix some moment issues, try to set up our phantom camera with multiple states. And finally, we will deep dive into our camera attributes and its placement. So the part 6 will contain our bow mechanism setup in which we will try to polish our bow animations, create bow state on our animation tree, make string behave correctly with our player hand and finally call some animation player functions for a better accuracy. In the part 7, we will set up our arrow scene and its shooting in which we will build our arrow scene. Then we'll add some shooting mechanisms. Then we'll try to make our arrow collide and some edge cases with the final point that will be aligning our arrow with bow and fixing its rotations. In the part eight, it will contain all our world and our hit systems so that we can build a beautiful world. In that, we'll create and test our CSG boxes. We'll add some hit objects and lasers. Finally, we'll script some logics for the placement of our objects so that it can move in the world and react with our player. In the part 9, 
we'll try to polish our crosshair and some final touches well in this part we'll you know set up our crosshair then add some realistic head with hip reactions whenever we try to shoot also we'll make our player react to some environments which feels more natural and finally fixing some bugs and trying to clean up everything and the next we have is important notes so remember that this won't cover a full advanced controller pack that you have seen in my other video because that would now again take some 17 to 20 parts and if you want a fully professional system with advanced features and deeper polish you can go and buy it on my itch.io again it will be a kind of support that you provide me and also the source code won't be uploaded so instead watch the videos carefully and in future if you find any bug fixes then it will be posted on that respected part in the comments with a pin on the comment and the tools i'll be using in this series will be godot version 4.4.1 and blender version 4.3.2 so it's better to stick with these versions for some smooth progress also please ignore some occasional background noises because i am from india and it's hard to record it in complete silence where i live also english isn't my first language so you might hear some grammar mistakes here and there but i promise that all the technical explanations will be clear so that's the plan buckle up grab some coffees and let's get started with part one that's blender setup for our character bow and animations